This is a quick demonstration of a project that I've been working on. It is a real-time non-Euclidean ray tracer, and it's all running in GLSL shaders, which enables it to run in almost 60 frames per second. So it is a ray tracer, so things like um, awesome reflections and stuff are much easier than they would be with traditional rendering techniques. Now, it is capable of non-Euclidean geometry, which essentially means something like this. This tunnel, for example, takes longer to travel through than it does to go around. And this is because space is essentially expanded. The way this effect is achieved is essentially the rays that are being cast out of the camera to look for specific objects, once they entered this region right here, are actually being uh, stretched in this direction, and then uh, set back to normal uh, normal size once they exit out, out of the region. And this gives the appearance of the tunnel being extended. Now the player movement is also slowed down when he's inside the tunnel. So these two factors combined make it seem as if the space is not only consistent, but also that like uh, it's being stretched essentially on the inside. Now this tunnel is almost exactly is exactly the same concept, except the tunnel itself is very very long, but it takes almost no time to travel through because it's a simulation of space being compressed. Now one of the cool things that you can also do is a portal, and this is not like portals like in the game portal. Basically, it's a spherical. Uh, it, these are these are actually spherical, so you can walk all the way around and look at them as if they were 3D, 3D objects. But you can also walk through and go onto the other side. Now there are also another type of portals, specifically box portals, which are more like the traditional portals you might see in any video game, uh, or specifically the video game portal. Um, and these are more traditional. And one of the cool things you can actually do is have, a, if you have a hallway. Two of the walls could be portals, and then right there you've created an infinite hallway that'll continuously loop forever, or maybe an infinite staircase. Now, in the middle of these three spheres is something that cannot be replicated using traditional rendering techniques, but it's basically a spherical aberration that once you're inside, space is stretched in the X direction, very much like those tunnels over there, but uh, with no boundaries. And essentially, this aberration just in the center here takes longer to travel through than it does to travel around. And this simulates space being compressed. So this is just a quick look, um, a very simple scene setup. I'm hoping to optimize it uh, so that it'll actually take in more complex scenes. And I want to create a simple level editor that can be used to actually build maybe a puzzle game out of this. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show something much cooler. Uh, more interactive and that really shows off the unique abilities uh, the new unique things that you can do with ray tracing versus just using traditional rendering so uh, yeah this is just a quick look